Wakey wakey! There's my Pikachu. Hey guys, this is Shonoralu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, I actually been rambling on and on and on and on about other Pokemon games, and we made it through to uh, Viridian Forest, and now we're here in Pewter City. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Um, okay. Okay, so, this is actually going to be really interesting, because, uh, not only that we're here, because, uh, we battled a lot of these, uh, freaking, uh, trainers, and also got some, uh, cool new items, but, uh, all in all, I actually been rambling on since yesterday about, like, um, what kind of Pokemon games do you think I would actually play, but I'm not sure if you guys are going to give me a solid answer. I asked my fiancé about that. He thought it's a good idea, so... It doesn't really hurt to actually, you know, try to give me an answer for, like, maybe a bit. Okay, so... Uh, we still got Mankey up here, and he learned a, a low sweep, which is actually a really good thing. Uh, before we go to the gym, I want to go to the Pokemart. And let's see here, what do you got? Um... I have no good items. Um, can I probably get five? Uh, no, I cannot. That, uh, really costs a lot of money. Unfortunately, I can't really buy any potions for now. Because these fucking trainers do not know, um, to actually, like, you know, give me a solid, uh, freaking items. Um, uh, 50 Poké Dollars? Yeah, I can handle that. Oh, in here, uh, we have, like, a museum, and these are all fossils. Hello. Okay. That's about all you're gonna say. Uh, Moonstone. What's so special about them? Oh, many things. Moonstones are actually really capable of actually evolving some of the Pokemon, such as the Nidoran female, Nidoran male, Nidor um... And then there, um, there is also, uh, Wigglytuff, and there's also, um, there's also, uh, Clefairy. So, these are all really good, mo uh, really good Pokemon, in all honesty. Okay, so, um, I'm guessing if we actually, like, click around here, there should be an item, right? I don't think there is, but it doesn't hurt to actually, like, double check about that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's, there's any items around here, so that really kind of sucks about all this. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. So guess what, guys? We are going to go into the first gym. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years... Oh, uh, uh, you're still light... You, you're still light years... Uh, from, um, from facing Brock. Not really. He's right next to you. So, in all honesty, kid, you are actually losing your touch. Okay, so, just so you know, once we are playing this kind of game, you're gonna have to need a fighting-type Pokemon. Oh, boy. You're gonna need a fighting-type Pokemon, because... Pikachu will not be any good and used to, um, freaking, uh, battle against Brock. So, in other words, it's not gonna be easy, and hey! Sandshrew! Alright. I am still hoping that, um, that Mankey can probably survive, and hopefully he will still obey me, and come on! No, Mickey, 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 Mickey! Oh my god! Oh, okay, I am not looking. Uh, light years isn't time, it, it measures distance. Wow, very smart, kid. Very, very smart. Obviously not too smart, because... He does not know the difference between, uh, light years and a freaking uh, distance. Like, he's a freaking moron. He's a freaking moron, guys. I can't handle these kind of people who are complete idiots. Your 
Okay. So now that one's done. And uh, let's go. I am not looking forward to actually battle against Brock. But uh, it should be a little bit easy. Especially when you got your fighting type Pokemon. But it's also, it's not going to be a good one because Pikachu is still an electric type against ground type as well. So before we uh, face him, we're going to save our little game. And let's do, let's do it. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter City Gym Leader. Uh, I, belie I believe in rock hard defense and determination, I think. That's why my Pokemon are all uh, the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Uh, show me your best. Yes, sir, in Didi Duty. So, something I want to tell you about Brock, guys. Something I really want to tell you about Brock. Ever since I watched uh, the original anime about how Ash uh, tried to uh, battle against Brock along with his, uh, really? I missed um, battle against Brock. And um, when I first saw that, Brock was so serious. I'm not kidding you guys. He was so serious in that gym, and since he used uh, Onyx in the first round against Pikachu, and Ash just freaking quit right off the bat, and by the time that, Brock's always seemed like he's a serious guy, and that almost looked like a shiny Onyx, don't get me wrong, guys. Um, by the time I- oh, and it fledged! Woo! Man, yay! So, by the time I actually, like, uh, saw how serious Brock is in the gym, and how sweet he is, uh, uh, with his brothers and sisters, which is, wow, so many brothers and sisters. Ten little brothers and sisters, in fact. Okay, so we got ourselves a gym badge. Wait, take this with you. A, t a TM contains a techno, uh, tech I don't know, um, that, that can be, uh, taught to Pokemon. A TM is a good, uh, is, is good only once. So when you use one to teach a new, uh, technology, I don't know, uh, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, uh, then pay it back, uh, double. Okay, so as I was saying before about Brock, he was always so serious in the gym, and the next, in the next, like, several fucking episodes, he became more and more opening up to Ash and his friends. And what's even more funny is that he fell in love with women, twice as older as he is. And... He's older than Ash, but he loved women that is about twice as much as his age. Like, for example, Nurse Joy, Officer Jenny, Worker, um, Worker Girls, or, um, or, uh, Office Ladies. Things like that. And I don't really understand about all of this. And no matter what he does, he fell in love with every single each of the freaking girls. And I find that so funny. And I'm like, wait a minute. If Brock is always, like, uh, so serious in the goddamn game, how is he, like, uh, how is he, like, serious, uh, how is he serious when it comes around, like, uh, freaking, um, how, how is he, how is he serious in the gym and, uh, not be so serious against, uh, uh, the, all the girls and, uh, be extremely funny when it comes around with Ash and his friends? Which I find that so incredibly funny about this. And I can't stop laughing about it because it's funny. Like, ever heard of, like, a serious freaking Pokemon gym leader? And then the next you have a journey with them. And they became more funnier than ever. And I should not actually have a freaking Mikey up here. Um, I just find that extremely funny, guys. Because I can't help but laugh about this. 
Because the way I see it, and I'm like, oh my god. So Brock is all serious, and then became not so serious anymore. I mean, he's serious in the battles, don't get me wrong. But when it comes around, like, um, him actually, like, chasing after girls, I can't help but laugh. I can't help but laugh about this, because it's so fucking hysterical. And Pikachu, don't miss because of the fucking sin attack. Oh my... Okay, really? What is with the critical hits? This is becoming a more annoying than ever. I'm not used to critical hits in this game, guys. I'm not kidding you. I am not used to more critical hits than you can even possibly count on. This is becoming more annoying somehow. I don't know why either, but it just is. But yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you about Brock, because Brock tends to actually freaking be serious one way, and then all of a sudden, he's, he's there. Which I find that's so funny about him. I just cannot help it. Uh, that's sometimes... Sometimes I don't know anything anymore. Uh. Okay. Okay, so... This guy is actually being a freaking annoying and has me, um use my Pikachu. So I'm gonna use my Pikachu more times uh, than ever and don't you fucking dare. Thank you. I will definitely have to go... What the shit? Okay, I know that Thundershock is not very powerful, but Jesus Christ. There we go. Pikachu leveled up. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out. So, Pikachu kept up with, uh, Mankey, as well as Mankey actually kept up on, uh, Pikachu. So, that's not really an issue. Okay, so, I was gonna talk to you about these things. This kind of old games, just, it, it's really strange how I'm actually playing the oldest games in the galaxy, and never once played them before, and, JESUS CHRIST! Critical fucking hits! It's just really funny how I'm actually, like, playing the old games I didn't even know about it, and WOW! Mickey leveled up that Pikachu did! Jesus! I know, guys, I've been using Mankey more in order to, like, uh, have him catch up with his freaking uh, little buddy here. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just not used to this kind of game at all. I'm not used to this game at all because of the coloration that's been changing every time you go to a different route, and you can't tell uh, what genders they are. Like, it, you can't really tell about some genders of Pokemon uh, that has gender lies, and you can't tell if your Pikachu is a boy or a girl, and you can't even tell your Mankey if it's a boy or a girl, and uh, you can't even tell about, like, um, how much level you're gonna get. So... And not only that, uh, there's also a possibility that you don't know their abilities or their natures back then. Because there has been a time I actually played, like, um, like, say, uh, when I was playing Pokemon Crystal and I wanted to know what their nature is or what their abilities is to actually help me out in the battles. And in those kind of old games, they don't have those. Which I kind of find that at first a little bit weird, you know? At first I kind of find that a little bit weird. And I didn't even understand that right then. But then I realized that it's an older version game, so in other words, you wouldn't be able to tell how much level you got and how much, um, um, how much, like, your ability is or, um, what your, uh, na or, uh, your nature is, and it's all in weird ways. So in all, in all other cases, I'm not really 100% sure about, like, these things. And those kind of things really kind of drives me nuts at first, because when I first played Pokemon Silver, I didn't even know about these kind of, like, uh, natures or abilities or things like that. But they do actually show you how much level you can actually get. Like, they always have, like, that bl and wow, I, I cannot really attack. Okay, so, um, so in other words, it actually, like, um, 
it doesn't show you how much power you recently got, and that kind of part really kind of drives me nuts at first, but it's something I'm not used to in a long fucking time, to be honest, because I'm not used to this kind of game. I have not been used to it since I first uh, played Pokemon Silver in a very long time. And, uh, also, there's something I want to ask you, the same question I did yesterday. So, about, like, uh, replaying, uh, replaying the other games that, um, that was actually connected. Like, say, uh, after yesterday I told you guys that I played Pokemon Emerald and Alpha Sapphire, and, uh, to see if I want to actually, uh, play, uh, Pokemon Ruby. Same thing with, um, with, uh, uh, Platinum, and I'm going to play, uh, Shining Pearl for a recording, and, uh, also, uh, do the same thing on Pokemon Diamond. So, another question of that one, which actually connects, uh, connects them to all, uh, there's another thing I want to know. Since I played Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Silver, uh, Soul Silver, do you guys want me to play Pokemon, uh, Gold? Because that would also make sense, because I am actually going to play everything that's actually connected to these things before the remake actually happens. And I know that sounded a little bit dumb in my case, but despite that I'm actually going to play the other Pokemon games that I, uh, I only played like either once or never played before, I want to actually like at least try again, you know? And, um... It's something that I just thought it would be a good idea, because I don't think there's anybody on YouTube that actually does that. There has been one time that I actually saw them actually, like, uh, playing either Diamond and Pearl, or, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, before they actually, like, make the third temp of the game. And, uh, I always thought that maybe it would be a good idea to, like, try them out, and there may be some Pokemon that I can actually recently try, um, that I never even used before or haven't even used at all, or something I'm not really, like, fond over, you know? It's something I just want to know about these things. And, uh, since I'm playing Pokemon Yellow, I already played Pokemon Fire Red, and I played Pokemon, um, Let's Go Eevee. So pretty much those three games are pretty much out of the picture. I mean, I can always, like, play, um, Pokemon, uh, Red or Blue. Uh, to be honest, I don't see any deal with that one, because since I'm already, like, uh, playing these kind of, like, uh, remakes and old version of games, you know? Because I want to at least try my best to see how far I can actually go. And, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of games I never even once tried before, and just want to, like, try as much as possible as I can, and, uh, to see what else I can actually do, you know? Because since I already, like, uh, finished the entire Pokemon games before I actually start recording with you guys, and, um, there has been a time I wanted to actually, uh, like, I decided to, like, uh, wanting to replay them again. It's just, uh, very difficult for me to actually do things like that, you know? So, in other words, I want to see if I want to, like, um, replay the other games that I've already, like, uh, finished before, have not gotten to finish yet, have not gone to, like, uh, record with you guys. And just, like, you know, try things out from there. So, I wasn't really sure about that, and it wouldn't even hurt to actually, you know, just try them all out. But in some cases, I just don't really know that myself. And, um, sometimes it would be understandable to see if I am able to actually, you know, like, do other Pokemon games besides just, you know, um, just go back and, uh, you know... That's all I'm trying to say, guys. I mean, it's nothing wrong to actually go back to the games you haven't even uh, played on recording before or something that you never even tried, you know? And, uh, if I gotta be quite honest, I want to actually, like, uh, play these kind of games again. So, it's something I want to record with you guys, and sometimes it would be awesome to just uh, go through all that, you know? And there may be some, uh, some places that you never even once knew or something that you never actually gone that far in your past life, you know? So, I thought I'd like to, like, um, try out, um, a different way, uh, that nobody I ever seen, uh, actually does. Such as, like, like I, like I said before, 
Let me try this one more time to have you guys understand. Since I already played Pokemon uh, Ruby, uh, no, Pokemon El Emerald, and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire connect with the, um, connect with the uh, Emerald as well, uh, with the uh, Delta episode, um, there's also, um, I can always, like, play Ruby to actually make it look like it's all sort of connected in the same dots, you know? And, um, and once when I connect it with all the same dots, then that's well, that's, that's when I can actually, like, um, have them look like they're all connected in, you know, in sort of the same way, you know? In a different sort of the same way. Same thing with, um, with, um, Platinum version that I already played. And I'm gonna play Shiny Pearl for recording. And also play, I'm also gonna try on, like, playing, uh, original Diamond, uh, from, um, Nintendo DS. So, I mainly want to, like, um, sort of connect the dots with the, each different games of the each different, um, PlayStations. They're all in the same company, but I want to at least try it in a different way in a, like, a different, uh, PlayStations, because it sounded, um, it sounded good at the time, because, uh, I don't know anybody who actually does these things, so, even though that, um, Ruby and Emerald are on the same PlayStation, it's, it's still, like, a, almost the same game, except it could be, like, a little bit different story of it. And, well, actually, it's the same story of it, but just, like, a in a different sort of special way, you know? So I thought maybe if I can do things that it's actually sort of the same thing on the PlayStations, then I can actually, like, uh, show you the connection of a different game, sort of a different story, and a different life of Pokemon. So... I have no problem to do that, actually, because I don't see any problems to actually do things like that, and thought it would be a good idea for, like, um, you know, do, like, a different PlayStation, so I just thought I like to, like, bring things up and, um, you know, just do it from there, because even my fiancé thought it's, it sounds like a good idea, because there's nobody I actually ever know from YouTube who actually does that. So, in all cases, I just want to, like, uh, bring that up, you know? So, um, we're going to pass through this girl really quick. And if we're lucky... Luckily, there's no other trainers yet, because I'm going to I'm gonna rebattle that girl. You're not a trainer. Whew, I better take a rest. Grown. Uh, that travel from, uh, Cerulean, uh, takes a lot out of you. Ah, so you came from Cerulean, huh? Okay, so in other words, we have a Pokemon Center right here. So I think we're going to end off the video right here, guys. So in the meantime, guys, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to come to me, please feel free. Hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye!